Welcome to World of Tanks. I'm Dirt Tappers. This is a bunch of replays that I have had over the past month. We're going to do this maybe once a month, thereabouts. We're going to start out in my SU-100Y, the derp gun. Yeah, it's, it's a terrible evil machine. It's... <laughs> Pretty much, if you play this tank even slightly right, you're gonna run top gun or very close to it. I mean, the the damage, the alpha damage on this gun is stupid ridiculous, especially when you are at or near top tier for the match. Now, I start out, well, let's just say poorly. Uh, I was a bit rusty when I got in, and I was like, hmm, I'm gonna hang out here. And then I was like, wait, I don't make any sense. Why would I just hang out here? I need to move up. I need to put this tank in position. There's no artillery. That's usually your bane of existence with this tank is artillery. Uh, but there's no artillery, so... How about you? 400 damage in one shot. He doesn't do nearly that much to me. Now, the reload is terrible on this thing. It's just horrendous. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. It allows my teammates to kind of mess around with these guys, and if you're smart with them and you kind of back straight up, you can uh, you can get some good shots in with this tank. Now here I kind of move in, the, the KV backs off, and there's one of those new Japanese heavies. Oh, there's another 400 points for him. And we pull back again. Now all I do is I sit here, as long as I have somebody near me, as long as I've got that KV sitting next to me, I'm not worried about these other tanks. They're not going to push on him with me sitting there. They know I'm there. They don't know necessarily how fast I'm at reloading. Now that Japanese tank is going to make a mistake here. He takes a shot at him. I know he has a reload time. And then he stops paying attention to the KV. Oops. I win. <laughs> that was only 200 HP there, but... Hey, 200 HP is still 200 HP. Now, I'm going to let the toaster have its fun there as I'm still reloading, trying to get in position for another shot. We are losing right now. <laughs> That's not the best position to be in. But we're going to try. Oh, there's that guy. And all I get was a critical hit. That's a bit unusual, honestly. Those... Those Cromwells have some serious uh, sloping to them, apparently. I've I've always had trouble pinging the front of a Cromwell, but, you know, I did some damage. That's, I mean, I scared him, maybe. He at least knows I'm there, right? Well, the toaster is back with me, and me and the toaster are having trouble with that stupid giant Japanese tank. It's kind of blocking the way, and I'm going to try this drive like this. That doesn't work. I don't know why I ever do that. But see, here I noticed something. See that Cromwell? He's backing off. He's going the other direction. That gives me a chance. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. That was uh, actually a single kill, but also an ammo wreck at the same time. And a bounce that Hellcat, which honestly, I will tell you, I was shocked I bounced that Hellcat. He was either not running a 90 millimeter, or I was really, really lucky. But he's there. Woof. There's another 400 right into him. It's going to tear him up for some damage. And then he's dead. Now our team is coming back from behind. That's why you never give up. Even when your team is losing, you don't give up. Play smart. You can win. They're going to take out that guy there. Good night. Toaster got him. There's an AT2. Everybody hates those stupid AT2s. So we're going to go after him. And I kind of screw this up because I take a shot when I really shouldn't have. I'm going to bounce on him. And it really annoys me that I bounced on him. Look at that. Oh, how terrible. I should never have taken that shot. I should have waited a few seconds and then I could have had a better shot. But either way, he's dead. All that's left is a light tank. He's going to be slaughtered here in a second. And then we'll go to the end slate. So there we go. We have a Top Gun award. We have first thing. We uh, ammo racked that poor Cromwell. Yeah, we held the top pretty strongly. I mean, that KV-85 was pretty close. And we didn't do too bad when it came to shots. We only bounced a couple. Now, from the big SU-100Y to the Excelsior. This is another tank a lot of people really, really hate. It's another premium tank. Its gun doesn't do a lot of alpha damage, but it has high 
DPM or DPS, depending on what game you play. It's either damage per minute or damage per second. You take your pick. And it has awesome armor, especially when it's fighting its class and lower. Now, the moral of this whole round is just because you die doesn't mean it's terrible. So I'm going to, I came over that hill and I thought about going straight, but I saw this, this little guy over here. I've bounced three or four shots already and he's done damage to my track. Oh, I'm so sad. Damage to my track. Now here, oh, your track went bye-bye. And then if we shoot into his lower deck, yeah, I actually took out his engine there. He wasn't going anywhere. So he's gone. I checked to see the status of my team members there. And they seem to be okay, so I'm going to push forward. I don't have anybody with me, but I do have an Excelsior. So we're going to come around the corner. Their problem is this T-34. And if I annoy the T-34 enough, he's going to try to go. I missed that. That really, really annoyed me. But now I've, I've acquired the... The other tanks in the area have realized I'm sitting there, and I'm a little bit hull down, but this uh, TD is going to come over the hill and miss, thank goodness. I almost reload in time, and I do there. Uh, there's another one where I just miss reloading. But I've already done a good bit of damage to that tank. However, my rest of my team is kind of thinning out a little bit here. We got some of the Japanese tanks coming now. He's taking a good hit. I'm going to try to get this TD out. But unfortunately, I bounced on him. And then I... There's... I was like, ah! Oh! And of course, it was ammo stowage, which is always a pain. I could repair the ammo stowage, but I'm looking at my health versus the number of tanks I'm facing. And I realize that you know, even if I repair, I'm going to be destroyed pretty quickly. So I'm just going to stand ground because right now I'm delaying the enemy and they're concentrating on me and ignoring my team members so I'm just gonna move on this guy he's gonna kill me that's fine because by my delay tactics we are actually gonna win by a capture because they're not gonna be able to get back there in time and there we go we win by base capture I take top gun again doing a good bit of damage I almost taken by that m4 but he got destroyed so that Excelsior, again, it's a great tank, not great penetration, but high damage per second per minute. This is apparently the episode of gold tanks. I'm sorry. I promise not all of them are gold tanks, just most of them. Uh, this is the little f pack, is what I call it. I know that's not its full name. I just call it the f pack because I don't care to read its whole name. This is another one of those low alpha but high high damage per whatever you want to call it kind of tanks a nice little french tank destroyer unlike that little mighty midget that just went flying by now here on this map you your usual stomping ground for big battles is down in the valley but what i found historically is a lot of times there's an end run out here that does pretty good in terms of of pushing on the enemy base. So I want to cover that. I got another tank destroyer and a couple lights over there. We're going to light up a little bit and I think about it. And then finally I'm like, yeah, I should probably go in there and help with that. If I can unwedge myself that I wedged myself in. And the range and the accuracy of this tank is pretty good. I'm like, ah, I lost the, the chance. But if I hang out a little bit, you'll see that I realize I have other chances. Up on the hill, we have this guy who's trying to spot us. But a little bit of down attitude here. There we go. And goodbye. That's a good shot. He's not even going to move. And that's the end of it. It always amazes me when they don't bother to move. And the, the aiming of this tank is unreal. I mean, I actually get the reloaded and the reticle down in time to take that second shot that's what i love about this tank it's evil it's a gold tank it's evil i know i could have taken that shot but i chose not to i was like i could take it but i'm kind of worried about those light tanks as well but notice nobody goes over there oh 
<laughs> so it drives me nuts. There's that light tank sitting right down in, um, what, where is he, like E3 or whatever, and he's not going to move. That drives me crazy. We're basically relying on another tank to come around and help us out, or the enemy being drawn to the fact that they're being absolutely eviscerated in the valley. Um, thankfully, one of the other tanks does realize we've left an entire flank open. He is going to come over. <sighs> that light tank that's just parked down there just kills me. If you're ever playing World of Tanks, please don't do that. If your light tank, move. Please. Now, patience has its virtue here. I waited for quite a while, and finally the tanks were nosing around enough to find our, our light tank that's just parked down there. And again, he doesn't move. And it's to his detriment. There goes that A20. Now they know somebody's over here, and thankfully our medium has come around to kind of sniff around to see what uh, what else is out here. Oh, good. Here's another tank. And again, moving tank. He's moving a little bit fast for me, and I thought about going for him, but then I saw, as I as I'm being a gibbon, I see this guy, and I'm like, oh wait a minute. Oh crap! I've just been seen. Can I take a shot at him? I take a shot at him, but then it's like, all right, I need to back out of here. He knows I'm here. He probably can't see me. He's probably just pinging that same spot over and over and over again, but I just need to hide for a bit. Let him get annoyed by that medium tank, and then I can come back and kill him. And he's going to come around the corner. We're going to bounce one. I hate when I bounce on tanks like that. But he makes a mistake of just continuing. I don't know why he did that, but... He turns his back to my gun. There he goes. At this point, there's one tank destroyer and one light tank. We've won the ra the game. There goes the light tank. All that's left is the, is the Hertzer that's hiding actually in the, about the middle of the map. Middle-ish of that circle of light tanks that you see on the screen. And they're going to pop him pretty soon. And then we'll get some... some Little shots in, because why not? I mean, everybody can. Everyone takes a shot at a Hertzer, right? Yeah, of course. There he goes. And there we are again. We we got uh, second highest and a few little awards. Not much, mind you. But we did do the most damage on our team. And it's just a really great look at the F Pack 40 tank. We're tired of gold tanks, right? Good! Let's play with the Crusader. Is this Crusader? Corsair? No, whatever. Let's play with this little tank. Right before this, I had been telling the guys, hey, I'm heading for the hill. And there's a platoon of PZ-3s. Medium tanks. There's one of them in front of me. One of them's about to ram me in the rear and give me a shove. I don't know why my light tank isn't faster than them, but whatever. Every once in a while, you get a game like this. And when you have a game like this, you're like, I love World of Tanks for games like this. So I've got a platoon of medium tanks with some decent guns. They're not great guns, I'll tell you that much, but they're decent guns. I've got my light tank, which has got an okay gun, but a nice slope to the turret. And I'm a little bit fearless here. I've been playing for a while. I'm just like, I'm not a huge light tank driver. I'm just going to just go for it, like hog wild. So we're heading this hill. There's a heavy tank behind us. I don't know why the heavy tank was trying to even chase us down. But we clear this. And usually you're going to go around the castle. And as we're going through here, both me and that PZ are like, wait, there's there's nothing showing up. Wait, let's let's go see what's over here. It's almost like, you know, you know, dogs for a bone or whatever. Oh, look, two tanks. Well, here's the other thing. My little tank here actually is beautiful at shooting on the move. I love it for that. I missed that one. But we'll, we'll uh, get rid of him. Thank you. Now, here usually people stop, and I'm like, ah, screw it, let's go for the hill. Oh, crap. That's not really what I wanted to see coming down the hill. Now, I'm surprised, I will tell you this. I should have died earlier, but I was getting some good shots on that Matilda there. They kill the Matilda. I do a couple of shots to that guy. Oh, he's dead now. Oh, wait, there's a tank there. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Go away. He's dead. <laughs> and here comes the PC-3. It's just flying down the hill, crashing into things. And I have almost no hit points. I, by rights, should just let them go. But, huh, whatevs. 
Let's just, uh, we've overloaded an entire side. In that time of overloading that side, Tank Alley was overloaded. We've basically won this game. We could sit and cap. But why? <laughs> why? Let's, uh, let's just push our advantage. I mean, the worst that can happen is that they destroy our entire team. But that's not likely to happen. They've got two heavies and a TD. And that heavy now has a problem because that heavy is now swarmed by a couple of tank, uh, well, one tank destroyer, a few mediums, and a light. Oh, well, one less tank destroyer in the world. And I didn't really get that shot off. We both take, a couple of us take this, like, pot shot at that tank destroyer, but I saw him. He's dead. He's not going to live. And now it's left to one heavy tank. And this is just overloading a side and having a great time. And I, yeah, this is, these kind of games are the games that make me want to come back and play World of Tanks more. Because it's just fun every once in a while to get these matches. Uh, this poor heavy tank is now swarmed. And now that is a KV-1. And that's 154 points of damage to a KV-1. That just doesn't happen very often. Oh, my. That was a victory. You know, it wasn't a super, like, awarded victory. But, hey, we were the fourth highest in terms of damage. And we did a lot of firing on the move. And that's what that tank is good for. And to wrap it, this whole thing up, every once in a while you like a big boom, right? Well, this is an S-51. This is a really difficult tank to get because it is a grind out of the KV-2. Stupid amazing big gun on this thing. Uh, I don't even have the top tier gun yet. It takes another 66,000 XP in this tank to get that gun. Well, here's a little bit later and we're playing around with this guy and he gets killed before we actually get the shot off or did we kill him? No, we missed. So he gets murdered, and I'm like, okay, that's cool. And then I notice on the map that there's a light tank moving pretty quickly. And I'm going to alert the, them, and I'm like, where is this light tank? Where is this light tank? We got a problem. Oh, that's a bulldog. We have a lot of a problem because now he's coming towards us in our general direction. And I don't like bulldogs coming in my general direction. Uh, all right, let's try the old shotgun approach and see what happens. Now, I'll give you this much. Russian arty uh, can be ridiculous. Watch this. He, the bulldog sees me. Bounce. How often do you bounce off an arty? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> now the bulldog makes a mistake. I'm going to come back the other direction. Bad bulldog. <laughs> uh, what's up, bulldog? That sucked for you. We lost that match, but hey, I didn't care. <laughs> Blew the crap out of that bulldog. Uh, be careful when you go after these uh, Russian arty. We'll murder you.